DRDO institutions, you don't need further validation. But if they are not part of a national body, how do we link it up with a national body validation? By maybe talking to the IITs, the Indian Institutes of Science, Indian Institute of Science, the IITs, etc. Or the Hyderabad, we have a lot of them. Uh, NIN luckily is already there, IICT is there, CCMB is there. How do we link up our own conclusions? Some of them may be slightly dated. We need to update them in terms of scientific validation. So how do we do that? We can certainly have a meeting with them, send them the drafts before, and see that if they have any, anything further. I'm sure all of you are very rich in your uh, exposure to these scientific bodies. We can play a collective role as part of this organizational effort. The third thing is, how do we include them in the textbooks of schools and colleges? This is very, very important. And we can certainly play a role in talking to the concerned uh, authorities. Of, I, I can do it as far as the AP and Telangana is concerned. We can do it with others. Then there are state councils of higher education of AP and also Telangana. And a lot of the work is supposed to be done by them, state councils of higher education, which, which are headed by academicians and scientists of very high reputation. Some of them are very good and known to, known to me personally. So these are the directions in which I think we need to move forward. You see, one is, of course, pointing out the enormity of the situation. The second is the validation through which we take this forward, through scientific bodies to national institutions of uh, reputation or excellence. The third is include it in this curriculum of various institutions. The last point is there are a number of institutions which are autonomous. And they have certain autonomy, autonomous colleges, 30 to 40 percent. I had an autonomous institution like the Andhra Mahila Sabha. And these autonomous bodies are the deemed universities have enough flexibility to include it in, the, in their syllabus. So I think we, we need to bring these together, work in a concrete manner through steps. The first I said is executive instruction. The second is a legislative effort. And legislation is of two types. One is a subordinate legislation, the other is of course legislation. I think we should take enough interest in putting forth these things. I'm, I'm sure if not now, over a period of time, the, the pressure of the democratic setup will be exerted on the legislative bodies. So executive instructions, quasi-legislative measures, and the legislative efforts will certainly take it forward. Of course. All of us have institutions which are symbols of the society. They are as efficient or as inefficient or as corrupt as the rest of the society. Let us, let us be very clear about that. I am sure our friends here know about that. But then, this is the kind of multi-pronged approach that I would like to commend for the consideration of all of you. If you have any suggestions, we can take them. Uh, I invite anyone to have express their views on uh, things because this is uh, we are going we I, I certainly feel that this is a we have to go a long way and uh, coming together is a beginning just a beginning and uh, yes there will be obvious issues and all that but once we go as a whole and start looking at some things and all that it will, will, it will make a tremendous impact and uh, definitely I can uh, I must thank all of you for taking your time. I know the busy schedules and all of that, uh, but uh, it's a kind of. No, but Mr. Sachana, is there sir, a body which 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 sir, can sir, articulate it, this? Exactly, sir. We had uh, come up that's with. That's what it. I'm saying. Formal or formal? No, no. That's the reason I kept this thing called Universal Health Organization. I am a founder member of that. We have Amitabh Energy. There is a group of people, uh, doctors, uh, one IIT's uh, professor, IIT science professor is there. Along with that, there are two journalists, and we are just trying to work on transparency, uh, trying to show things and all that. We are working on some area where we are asking uh, that 
okay show us the kind of this one papers and we are uh, we are ready to face counter questions and uh, we are somehow we, we believe that uh, everything can't be worked out in a just a or this one and uh, yes we would like to get involvement with everyone who are like minded we are not uh, something like against the government or something like that we believe that toxicity is an elephant in the room and uh, as uh, everyone has told about uh, what is uh, once if we show the data also and people are uh, it is not people are not getting idea about that it is uh, some of the uh, big uh, governmental organizations also sir they are still asking what is the proof of this pfaos and all that so what happens is that we talk about something called precautionary principle where we don't have to wait till everything gets uh, published so the way uh, uh, the tobacco industry was in 1960s 70s that time everyone said tobacco is the good thing even doctors started telling tobacco is good for your health so uh, but later on like yeah but later on we know ki what happened with that so the same thing is we are in the same position now uh, everything what you talk about all uh, gmo foods we are talking about we are against about gmo foods we are against about uh, toxicity how you have metals we are talking about air f uh, pollution and all that so we'll take one by one we will keep in touch with all of you and uh, whatever is your interest and all that uh, sir has agreed uh, we can always have the next uh, kind of meet in uh, andhra mela sabha i'm very happy in welcoming you all and in fact i have a session on the 24th of this month i mean september where we have invited five or six speakers from different parts of the country of course, some of them online and some international the theme of that is generic medicines which is a lot of interest now and uh, i would welcome all of you to kindly join us i have invited dr bharat watwani who is a ram begesese award winner he will be will be very happy in listening to me i have invited chinu srinivasan i think some of you are familiar with him chinu srinivasan is a low cost generic medicine maker is a product of iit and i am Chand, my childhood friend we have also invited <laughs> dr ravi janyala an inter intervention cardiologist from usa we have invited dr dasarth ramreddy who is an orthopedic okay. surgeon from yashoda so the five or six people will be there i'm also inviting some pharmacists from england who is a young pharmacist who has gone from here and studying there so i would welcome you all but then we need an institutional backup you see somebody who can speak on behalf of an institution which will take these things up forward one at a time obviously you are bad with i i think for that we are we are having a uh, kind of bunch of yeah, uh, I, young scientists make a submission yes yes sir, yes sir. you are talking about people coming together we scientists all above 70 with long experience in research laboratories from various laboratories and iits and everybody 25 30 of us form together scientists for people there are so many accidents that have been taking place in andhra pradesh and people have been dying when we try to give our inputs on fundamental sciences it's not that you need somebody's acceptance it's a proven science already proven science on such things also there is no reception by the authorities that is the unfortunate situation we talked about pollution control board we sent it to the chairman and member secretary that in one particular industry they have written a report by the committee appointed by them that these people died because of exposure to thymine chloride and that that thymine chloride is supposed to be present in an aqueous layer but fundamental property of thymine chloride is thymine chloride is totally incompatible with water they cannot exist together <laughs> how can anybody die from thymine chloride that is coming out of it it is a, it's boiling at about 70 degree centigrade how did it come at room temperature outside and then affect the people and they died and what are the symptoms of its exposure they are not ready to think they simply want to save the particular company and they are giving writing anything in it if in such an atmosphere when there is no value for science fundamentals of science what will you deal with that organization i agree i, I understand your angle but yeah. the point is where do you begin i tell you yeah please right
How many yeah, letters we have written? A while back, uh, Rajmani and I were on a Government of India committee to um, suggest uh, and modify the entire environmental clearance process. Yes, yeah, so we are sitting as experts in accident investigations. Um, what do they know about accidents? We wanted to hold public hearings in the very first meeting that we uh, I wrote to the giant That unfortunately, said, if you have the plan commission then was the for our energy, energy, which was handling you would have failed uh, about to facilitate so it. So Rajmani and I designed it. Rajmani incidentally was the former environment secretary. Uh, and we wrote our own uh, uh, memorandum, sent it to the prime minister. And it includes <laughs> how to deal with this whole problem of environmental clearance, how to really do the clearance. We have no it was a pretty radical talk. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we have made would circulate it, and it will give you some ideas to think about. You may agree, you may disagree, but that's okay. It's a starting point. It's a 22 page document. It includes sections of uh, UNEP's recommendations on how to uh, impact assessment, environment, clearance, and so on and so forth. Uh, so, this is one suggestion. <clears throat> it's a document which you can think about. Come up with, you know, I agree with this, I disagree with this, modify this, or modify that, and so on. The second thing is that you talk about IITs, Pavura and I are from alumni of different IITs, in fact, and I say that the IITs are absolutely useless in dealing with this whole uh, thing. And I tell you why also. Sometime back, I spoke to the then director of IIT Kanpur, uh, saying, you know, why don't you guys set up a hazard center? You have the money. Is it Sagar? There's nobody here who is competent. Why didn't you come in and do it for us? I said, sure enough. Maybe I said, I have, uh, I have known, okay, I can probably cobble up some money from the DST and so on and so forth. And ultimately, despite his interest, it never went through. Okay. Three years back uh, in IIT Delhi, in fact, I suggested to the director, why didn't you make your uh, car, you know, campus carbon neutral? You know, you'd set up an example for universities in India. He looked here, he looked there, he looked under his chair and then did nothing about it. I don't think IITs are the right place or for that matter of fact any of these institutions. I say that if we want to do this, let's do it ourselves. Let's set up a hazard center here. Yeah. And do it. We, we can. We have the competence. We can gather the uh, manpower if we uh, bite our teeth into the right kind of problems and actually show results. We need an interdisciplinary team for it. But I don't think that the establishment is going to do it because I have a very simple question for you, sir. After 35 years of EIS, why is our entire environment so much more polluted? I asked the same question of the chairman of uh, the Central Pollution Control Board. He went, you know, why is our environment more polluted after 35 years of doing EIS? He didn't have an answer. And I wonder if any, anybody in the establishment has an answer to this question. It's because the system just doesn't work. And if we want to do it, let's do it ourselves. Sir, one word of uh, this one. Uh, I'm able to motivate some really good youngsters. Uh, we have somebody called Jagdish, who has come back from uh, uh, Germany. Uh, Ananta is there. Ananta is too young. I would like to hear something from Jagdish. Because I do believe that you youngsters have capability you have worked uh, something, what I have seen, the way you work it out. And uh, I think you people can, we will definitely, we are seniors, definitely we will give a lot of impetus. We will give you all the things. But you need Hosh and Josh also. You have that Josh, right? I just want you to have some, uh, something you can always share. Sir, I think this, this debate, I can, I can relate to what we are writing a paper on. So what we are writing on is, uh, you know, industry academia collaboration. Yeah. So uh, I mean, uh, somebody said like Hyderabad has beautiful, you know, central institutes as well as big pharma companies. But the thing is, when you go and talk to pharma companies, I, I, I remember one of the CEOs was telling like, I don't trust academia because you are idiots and you are only good for publications, not for translation. And when I talk to uh, academic people, they say like. You industries are full of only for money, pure greed and jealousy, nothing else. But the thing is, that's not what we are dealing with. We want translation. So, for example, COVID. I mean, I don't want to talk about vaccines, but but uh, beautiful translation happened for vaccines where academia, industry, government, everybody came together. 
But what about dengue vaccine, malaria vaccine, chikungunya vaccine? Where is industry, academia collaboration? So, uh, but I'm not here to preach. I'm here about what we have done. So we, in February, we have organized a very big event called Hyderabad Licenses Innovation Cluster in Genome Valley. And we invited top 10 pharma companies, top 10 institutes, and we made them listen. Like what industry wants, what academia wants. Don't, don't fight here. We want what exactly you are dealing with. How can you collaborate? Exactly the same thing what you are proposing, sir. We give five minute to 10 minute slot for each director, each CEO. There was a beautiful chemistry that happened. So they said like industry, we are looking for this kind of this kind of things. Academia, we are looking for this kind of this kind of things. Afterwards, we wrote something and, and something will come out soon. So I think these kind of things, instead of, you know, now we are we are kind of pointing it out, right? So instead of pointing it out, we also have to listen to them. And uh, I mean, as, as far as Federation of Asian Biotech Association or somebody with, with uh, brain and energy, what can we do? So we are also going to a lot of pharma colleges and we are teaching them. What, how, how you have to innovate or how you have to be, you know, One Health is one, which I worked last year with African countries like Zambia, Tanzania, Ghana, where, you know, uh, like basic hygiene things are not practiced and eating pork meat they are, they are suffering with. And we are implementing same principles here, how to think environment. So people are very open, students are so much interested now about environment, climate change. So uh, I don't know, sir, there's no conclusion that I want to give, but I think there's so much that we have to do with education and bringing people together. Hey, I just wanted uh, you people to start taking active interest. That's what, thanks for coming in here with a very short notice. And uh, we have expertise of people like, and they can always uh, give you. Yeah, I think let, let's form a platform, sir. Let's form a platform and, and uh, if, if there is something, white papers or something that we have to write. That's what, sir, so, there is expertise. Can, can I, can I? Yes, sir. Let me, when Sir was telling me, Sir, <clears throat> there are three to four things which we are going to happen. One thing which we will definitely work in out, that means it will definitely work with Dr. Saxena's initiative. Sir, you are a member of a IMA. Now, the situation is that as per the new guidelines issued by the government of the Ministry of Health, CME programs are mandated. Why don't you just opt from your end? through CMA, but only thing is that CMA and this foundation, whichever the foundation he or you are thinking, so we will have CME programs in a year, two types of programs, where occupational medicine or environmental medicine or environmental health, like this some three topics, now have become mandatory provisions for all medical doctors to take, sir. So we can get credit points, sir. Huh. So you will get some four credit points. For each credit point, you will have to pay 20,000 rupees. From every doctor, you collect 200 rupees, they will come because we do a lot of this type of programs. Second program which you can seriously think about is, now ICMR supports for the ethical committees. <coughs> In this ethical committee, what happens is, who will be the members of ethical committee? Today, we don't have potential ethical committee members available, resources are available. And to make this ethical committee training, two days training you conduct, again in the name of your organization or to whomever, where there are two to three chapters which are involved in this. <laughs> so please conduct it, people will join you. At the, uh, first we have to do a semi-commercial activity. Sir, we have done antimicrobial resistance stewardship series. Yeah, sir, I mean, sir, I honestly say to you, sir. You were talking about the vaccine, why didn't it develop? Sir, सरकार का will रहा तो कुछ भी develop होगा. सरकार का will नहीं है तो कुछ नहीं develop होगा. But sorry, sir, collector sir. Let me tell you, sir. I understand the anxiety and anguish about it. You have to work through a system. Yes, sir. You cannot bring in by merely exhortation. You have to get into a system to be able to make an impact. I am trying to suggest to you kindly. There may be some bad institutions, but there are also good institutions. Sure. Yeah, the sure. present director IIT Hyderabad is a very proactive person, Dr. B. S. Bhuti. I know him. He is very, very interested in an interdisciplinary study. He has opened up a lot of the IIT courses to others. So similarly, there are institutions. I am Vaisa. Dr. Chandrasekhar is again a good friend. So my request to you is there are bad examples, I agree. But there are also good examples. I have been working outside the system for the last four or five years. 
and I'm sure my experience out, out of the system, my experience has been reasonably satisfied. ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಹೆಲ್ issues are there out there and it are not been picked up by any of the institution so we have to go to the people work with them not with the system because we have to make the systems work but from this point of view they are not mutually exclusive sir no 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 they are not mutually my, ah, my direction sir i need to motivate them really i am only saying the direction of work you know uh, what happens with these institutions is even with what he is talking about the message we people want to give to the people aap aisa karo aisa karo that's what i know is happening even in climate change <laughs> it's not about the behavior of the people we are saying these are the impacts which are happening and because of these impacts these are these are the institution these are the systems which are not working so the our direction of work is from this point to that point mir deppe okay nen gaadakalenu iit toti i research than me the pan chestam but when it comes to action solving the problem where do we go that's a problem so andukane nen suggest chestunna em endante different dimensions lo kindly start working okay concrete ga executive instructions legislative intent subordinate legislation if we may suggest this we will certainly go to maybe one or two other authorities start interacting with them give them a time limit and then see what happens for instance let me tell you dr kameshwari and dr prakash dr kameshwari has been doing excellent work we try to move in in the direction of stopping the the hysterectomies Dr. Kameshwari is a gynecologist, has been doing wonderful work for the last 20 years. There has been a stage where, okay, stage of uh, uh, these uh, hysterectomies have been, uh, have been enabled to get assistance under the Arogyasri. Mali Adi, it has been, uh, they have now again stopped. I am not saying that these are all very important, but they are all significant steps. Kavati Miru, Chese Social, అవేర్నెస్ కానీ ఏదైనా చేయండి అది దట్స్ నాట్ మ్యూచువల్ ఎక్స్క్లూజివ్ దాంతో పాటుగా మీకు ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు మేక్ ఎ బిగ్గర్ ఇంపాక్ట్ యూ సర్టన్లీ నీడ్ టు వర్క్ విత్ ఇన్ ది సిస్టమ్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ ఆల్రెడీ దేర్ ఐ వే డూ యూ గో అదర్వైజ్ మనం మనకు మనకి సైకలాజికల్ సాటిస్ఫాక్షన్ ఉంటుంది బాగా ఎక్సెన్సిబుల్ చేసాను ఆఫ్టర్ దాట్ వెర్ ఇస్ ఇట్ హౌ డూ యూ మూవ్ ఫార్వర్డ్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు ఓన్లీ వర్క్ విత్ ఇన్ ది సిస్టమ్ like you know today the durgam charu they detected 183 compounds now who is ready to work further on that last time in university of hyderabad they detected antimicrobial uh, bacteria in musi river and it became a big issue in germany and uh, europe and now, now now university of hyderabad stopped doing research because they they don't want to enter into a controversial area no no point sir meeru specific ga ee executive measures kavalani let us go to the department and no. organization that's no. what i'm saying yeah and adi adi parallel ga adi idi kuda cheyame cheptunnaru that's all is the point exactly i i i land we have been appreciating the authority sir we have been writing to them we are meeting them no. I, if they don't react I, that's a positive d i just it's had no one problem. thing we have never everyone, got any positive everyone when response. we started working on this when we started we started with a very small group sudha myself there are three four doctors we never this is this much of people is we we thought people are people will be interested we were just discussing about yeah, that chandrakant coming problem. here is a success for us and we will definitely take like you to come uh, and work it out because we were skeptical initially uh, we thought but doc d chakrapani garu coming here is itself is a, it speaks a lot of things and all that 
and uh, he has uh, I, uh, see i know him for the last 3 years but the kind of energy the kind of vigor he goes he goes to the different different uh, cities non stop giving lectures and all that trying to work in the teachers group in a big way i'm i i um, i thought what he has got energy levels at this age i was not having that and this looking at you looking at things and all that uh, we youngsters definitely i am definitely much younger uh, than you we would like to gather pace and we'd like to do something and we so are here to one submission is there so we got a huge young population nowadays children in school colleges and all none of them is aware about this aspect yes. none of them we need to start a school and college education program i started from our bit that's why i have suggested let us suggest specific yes. lessons yes 6th class 7th yes, yes, class 8th yes. class this is what i am saying and it will be my responsibility to go and sit with the school education director sit with the intermediate board sit with the university academic bodies etc in my own college introduce it to the extent possible in the 30% autonomy given So let's start doing it at now. No, but nothing. Sir, will you will be good. surprised. During COVID, I have seen twenty-four thousand cases of a telemedicine protocol. How the parents became okay? It's basically because the children, they saw my documents which I forwarded online. They read through. They forced their children to follow suit. Otherwise, you will suffer and we will be lost in this world. So, so the uh, education let, let us let us come very clear. We should do that. Next right? meet, Just next meet. Yes, yeah, sir. Next meet. We would like you to. Sir, can I just uh, two yeah. minutes? Can I take? Yes, please, please. I am Dr. Chandra Kant. I am sorry, I had to go in between because there was some accident case. Oh. <laughs> I am sorry. Whatever we have been doing, I was just involved from '94 onwards until then. It took a long time. for the pictorial wordings to come first is unless there is an awareness yes. unless there is a demand no government organization will not yield will not listen to us we have to bring pressure on the government to listen to us this i am telling you very clearly gutka pan masalas were given as a food product license yes i filed a pal <laughs> in high court supreme yes. court human rights commission and when kalam became president when i was offering so many cases he told me can you stop operating and start educating people i stopped i was very aggressive surgeon then then i was only not getting proper results so secondary side third re side you know prevention early detection is more important but patients come to us blown up now the present situation is if patient goes to any hospital if patient is a sick will they write is this is because of this toxicity or will they just follow their protocol treat the patient and send Super now ready. every hospital every doctor they will either prescribe or they will do their protocol they they just want their business we made mandatory government of india to mention tobacco is the cause of death in the death certificate yes that actually changed likewise toxicity or at least this toxicity is responsible for some health reasons it may be a community level like a gastroenteritis or at a pollution like we have so much pollution but uh, we have to sensitize the public and make accountable the political parties to include in their manifestos yes how it happened in 2004 elections sushma swaraj was going to world health assembly for uh, uh, and she has to address i came to know and immediately i rushed from here i there was a case in supreme court on tobacco products and good cars kalam was president there FCTC Federation Convention for Tobacco Control India has not signed and uh, I have just pulled a few people what India is going to they, they ask her what are you going to do in India about this you are not signing then she is very sensible she said we will take leadership 
in Southeast Asia. We will sign FCTC. I have taken oral instructions, orders from the Prime Minister, and we will lead Southeast Asia. So immediately she signed. Because of that only, the pictorial warnings have come. And either WHO has to be with us, or people have to be educated. All of us have got some contact. Let us keep talking about somewhere about this. Yesterday, just day before yesterday, we had a meeting in Council for Higher Education, sir. Limbadri chairman was there. The Oscar Awardee, Chandra Bose, we invited him for only one thing. We are about 8,000 maxillofacial facial surgeons. We want to train 70 lakh college students on first responders in an accident. They call the ambulance, but no one will go there. We were giving an education with EMR. So we involved, as you said, sir, government. And a celebrity, he came. He said, I will be the brand ambassador for this. Suppose if we talk, sometimes people may not listen. Yes. We have to make someone who is a celebrity or whose words people will listen. I suggest this is a very good beginning, sir. Saksena ji, whatever you take, I'm telling you during COVID time, people were not listening about, not willing to discuss about COVID outside. You started a, a forum and uh, the discussions have happened and uh, many people we could help because of the discussion. We were also educated. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> I just want to end with the uh, national anthem. Yes, okay, that will be, I think this is uh, Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha Dravida Uttala Vanga Vindya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Uchala Jala Titaranga Tava Shubha Name Jage Tava Shubha Shishamage Kare Tava Jaya Gatha Janagana Mangala Dayaka Jaya He Bharat Bhagya Vidata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 He Thanks, thanks for all.